What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys Komo'o and Dondozo for ranked regulation age. Now, when it comes to Komo'o, this pseudo legendary is actually one of the most off meta pseudo legendaries of all time, considering all other pseudo legendaries are phenomenal and really, really strong. This one is actually very niche. Still strong, but again, very niche, only good in certain situations. Now, Komo has soundproof as its ability, and it is holding the throat spray as its item. It's got clanging scales, flamethrower to pair up with its fire terror type, it's got clanger soul to boost stats, and last but not least, it has protect. Like I mentioned, we got Don Dozo on this team. This Don Dozo is a lot of fun. We do not have Tatsugiri with it, but we do have Fisher, which is a one-hit KO move. Don Dozo's got unaware, leftovers as its item, wave crash, Fisher, Yawn, and Protect. Now, Fisher only is a 30% accuracy move, so that's going to be a very niche situation move, but I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that we can just pull off a Fisher today and pick up a one-hit KO. It's so much fun whenever we use one-hit KO moves. Our final four Pokemon on today's team are going to be meta Pokemon for Regulation H. Rillaboom, Sneasler, Golden Go, and Electabuzz. Electabuzz is going to be a great support Pokemon with Follow Me. Rillaboom, phenomenal. Don't even need to speak upon that Pokemon anymore. Same thing with Sneasler. I'm tired of speaking about Sneasler. This is one of the best Pokemon in Regulation H. I feel like we're using it on every single team. Then our final Pokemon is going to be that Golden Go with the choice specs. Big time special attacker. Going to be doing big time damage. So, really do like this team. You guys want to rent the squad for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop to our first match showcasing Komo'o in ranked regulation H. So guys, we're hopping into our first match and we are going up against a pretty dope team. Espathra, Overquill, Gargonacle, Volcarona, then they got Indeedee and Amoongus. Now I could honestly just go into like Electabuzz and Komo'o and try to set up that Clangor Soul. And I think I want to do that. I think that's a solid play for us. So that's exactly what I'm going to do here. Going to follow me, try to get rolling with the squad. I like it. I definitely do like it. We could bring Don Thozo in for late game. A nice big time Fisher could be in store for us. And you know what? I'm going to try it. Like I said, one of my goals for today's video is to land a Fisher. We're definitely not going to go out without a fight. We're going to at least try it. So we're going to Don Thozo. And last but not least, we could go Sneezer. Sneezer is such a solid Pokemon. We could go into Sneezer. We could. We don't have to, but we could. We could. We could also go into Golden Go. I mean, Golden Go is an absolute unit. What moves you got again? Power Jam, Make It Rain, Shadow Ball, Dazzling Gleam. Okay. Um, hmm. Or I could just go into Sneasler. Sneasler is a unit. This one does have Fake Out. It's got Dire Call. It does have Close Combat. Um, eh. Sneasler's okay here. It's really nothing crazy. I think we just go in with our choice spec Pokemon. I love Sneasler, but I mean, typing-wise, I mean, you got a few poison types, you got a few psychic types. Sneasler's kind of sitting on the field, like, mediocre, right? It's just like, they have type advantage on us so hard, so I'd rather just bring Golden Go, get after it that way. But more importantly, we're leading the Komo, -O, I think, depending on who they lead, we should be able to get off a of Kyger Soul and just get these stat boosts going. Hopefully it's not Espathor, because speed boost gets annoying, and it is going to be Espathor. Does Espathor learn Expanded Force? I don't believe so. I do not believe so. I do not believe so. This could get this could get out of hand. We definitely want to go for Clanger Soul here. We definitely want to go for Clanger Soul. You have expanded force. I know you do. I could go into Fire Terra, but I think we just go into Clanger Soul and we just hit follow me here. And we save our Terra for next turn. So that's Panther could have Dazzle Gleam. Oh, Ooh, we should have thrashed last fire. <laughs> Hopefully, Espanther is like maybe protecting for speed boost. There we go. That's perfectly fine. There it is. All right. So Espanther does that. Indeed, he's gonna. They're gonna double protect. This is a fine turn for me. It's a fine turn for me because now I can thrash last. I get off this Clangor Soul. I get off Fruit Spray as well, and I can just follow me yet again. I like that. I definitely do like that. So Clangor Soul popping out here. We got a thrash Lizer, boy. Honestly, Komo might outspeed this turn. It depends on their base speed, because speed should be the same. We're boosting all of our stats. All of our stats plus one. Give me that throat spray. We're going to be able to go plus two on special attack. We do lose, what is it, one third HP? I believe it's something around there. And there's a speed boost from my Panther. All right, cool. That's fine. So from here, we're definitely going to Thrasilize, and I'm just going to go for Clanging Scales. Let's do it. Let's lower defense stat. Let's do as much damage as we possibly can. And if we can get off another turn, we could just go into this, or I could just E-Web and slow him down. I could e-web and slow him down, because we should be able to eat up whatever Espathra has to offer. But you know what? 
We're gonna play it safe. We're gonna play it safe. I can e web another turn. We're just gonna play it safe here. The Terrasilizer Coma, oh, we're going straight fire typing. Just in case this Panther outspeeds us and wants to go for Dazzling Gleam. We're, we're, we're really not dealing with that, right? We're not dealing with that. Because I know this Panther usually runs like it's, uh, I forget what his signature move is called, but it's a second move. It runs Dazzling Gleam, Protect, and something else. But he's going to end up going into a Helping Hand here, which is definitely scary. Helping Hand pops out here. We go for the Follow Me with Electabuzz. Thank you, little Electabuzz, for being good to us and we're actually out speeding so clanging scale is going to do a big chunk of damage which we love our defense does drop and a berry is going to pop out from s panther a little bit of citrus berry action yes it is so citrus berry going to give it a little bit more health and you do have expanding force i wish i would have known that expanding force doing some great damage s panther is now going to outspeed us which really really sucks and honestly um what do i even do here what do I even do here? It's tough news with this Panther. Should've went for an E-Web that turn. I should've went for an E-Web that turn. If I went for an E-Web that turn, that would've been massive. That would've been massive. Um, I could go for Follow Me. Follow Me's really not gonna do much. I mean, I can kinda just like sacrifice out. We go for another Clanging Scales if we can, and we go for just like an E-Web. I guess just for a little bit of a damage boost. But yeah, I should've E-Web that last turn. Expanded Force gonna launch here. It's not gonna KO like the bus, is it? It does not like the bus. Can you have speed? Get off a nice little E-Web. Help us out just a tad bit. But yeah, I should have E-Webbed the last turn. I should have E-Webbed the last turn. Luckily, Electabuzz out speeds indeed. He does minimal damage, but, you know, the speed drop's always nice. Yeah, this Panther's just a strong little Pokemon. Psychic flies through. It's going to take out Electabuzz, and it turns into a 2v4. But I don't think we're sitting in a terrible position right now. We still got that though, so they can expand and force me. Um... Speedboo's gonna fly through here. We have to get rid of Espathra, and we could just go with a Golden Go. Yeah, Golden Go's gonna get up, get up after this. Golden Go's gonna get after this. Alright. What do I even do here? Do I just protect on Dozo? And just make it rain? Look for the KO? The double KO would be nice. It should double KO. You know what? We're gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I am just going to protect on Dozo. And we're gonna get after it. Let's see what he ends up doing here. Let's see what you got. Hopefully they target down Don Dozer. That'd be really nice. But they could target down Golden Go. But now it's a nice chance to maybe go for a Fisher. We could pick up a KO here. So we pick up the double KO here and we keep both our Pokemon. Don Dozer can land a Fisher. We wouldn't be sitting in a terrible spot. But Helping Hand's going to launch out here. Probably expand a force, which is why I want to protect Don Dozer. Keep it as much HP as I possibly can. While Golden Go picks up these KOs. And there's the Expanded Force. Now, Golden Go should soak this. You should soak this, Golden Go. You should soak this, my my dog. All day long. That was an easy soak. And good plan from me. Make it range to fly. Double KO. All day long. So good call on my end just to protect down those. So keep its HP high. My special attack is going to drop a little bit. And I'm choice into make it rain. But again, if I can land a Fisher. If I can land a Fisher. If I can land a Fisher here, we could be sitting in a in a pretty prominent position. Let's see who they go into. Let's just see who their final two Pokemon is. Because they still have Terra. They still have Terra. I just wish I would have E-Web with the Buzz earlier. So, one's going to be you, um, Volcarona. Next one's going to be Gargonackle. I'm going to go for a Fisher in the Gargonackle. This thing has got to go. He's got to go. We'll go for the Make It Rain because we're choosing that. And we're going straight for this Fisher. We're going straight for it. I'm going, I, I'm going straight for it. We need a little bit of RNG on our side here. Come on, Fisher! Come on, Fisher! If I can land this into the Gargonackle, we could be sitting in such a pretty position. However, I do think they Terrasilize Volcarona, potentially. Maybe even Gargonackle, because Gargonackle's really powerful here, especially with Salt here up against Water and Seal type Pokemon. So that's why I'm hoping Dantozo can just outspeed and land this Fisher. If I can land this Fisher, oh my lord. And they Terrasilize Gargon. That's fine, because I'm Fishering you. You're going into water. That's fine, because I'm Fishering you. That's fine, because I'm going to land this Fisher. I feel it. I feel it. Go ahead, Don Dozo. Do him dirty. Make it rain's going to launch. Do about negative six damage. And Don Dozo, I need you here. Need you more than ever. Heat wave launches. Don Dozo, if you can just land this, you win the game. You win the game, Don Dozo. Come on, Don Dizzy. Fisher, put us in a winning position. Oh, my lord. I love this move. I love this move. Get it on out of here. Get it on out of here. Our opponent's probably like, oh my lord. They were not expecting that. Let's go. 
Let's go. I, I knew Fisher would come in clutch. I told you guys. I felt it in my gut. Thank the Poke Lords for that land. That's enough for for this whole video to land that one Fisher. Now it turns to a 1v1. They could have Giga Drain. They could have Giga Drain, but Wave Crash is going to be our best friend. And I think Wave Crash should be able to one tap. I think Wave Crash should be able to one tap. Don Dizzy. Don Dizzy. Bug Buzz flies. Seems like they do not have a grass type move. And Wave Crash, again, should be able to clean this mess up. GG's. Not yet. Not yet. Hold up. Oh, hold up. Game ain't over yet. Game ain't over yet. Luckily, I got Leftovers to help us out for a little bit of HP. Um, because Burn's chipping us up. Burn's chipping us up. So, Leftovers, Burn, cancel each other out, pretty much. And all I need to do is just land a Wave Crash. I don't think he has a, a hitting move to KO me. And he goes for Protect. I mean, that, that would have been smart if I didn't have Leftovers, but, I mean, we do have Leftovers, so... Burn's gonna chip up, or actually, Leftover's gonna heal us up. Burn's gonna chip us back to the exact same spot. Like, we were at 133. We we're gonna go up to 149, just like last time. And then Burn going to do the exact opposite of that. Just take us back down to 133. So, the Protect didn't really do anything. We're gonna go for another Wave Crash. They don't have Terror type. They don't got nothing. All we gotta do is... Morning Sun? You can't be serious. Can this just KO? We gotta go for a Fisher. We gotta go for a Fisher, right? I could, I could, I could yawn this thing. I could yawn this thing. I think this thing's just gonna want to go for a Morning Sun again. <laughs> Wait a minute. We're gonna go for a yawn in this thing. If this thing goes for another Morning Sun, like protects. Oh my lord! Hold up. If I lose this game, Morning Sun really on your Volcarona? I'm definitely just going to go for a Yawn here. I'm definitely going to go for a Yawn, because if you go for Morning Sun, then you get HP back and we can put you to sleep. But if you go for... If you go for Bug Buzz, we can just protect next turn. We should be able to soak it. I'm just going to go for a Yawn. Play it smart. Play it safe. There's the Morning Sun. Oh my lord. Morning Sun, really? Really? Is this, is this, is this, is this what we're doing here? here ha hold this. Hold this Yawn. Hold this Sean, we'll protect this turn, we'll make sure that this thing goes to sleep, and we are going to spam Fisher until it lands. This is this is what I gotta deal with. This, our opponent's putting up a fight here. Putting up a big time fight. So Burn doing his thing. Can't really be taking recoil damage, so again, need to get off that yawn, and we are just going to launch Fishers until it lands. That's that's my plan all day. Launch them till they land. Launch them till they land. Bug Buzz is gonna launch. Go go to sleep, Volcarona. Go to sleep. Night night. Night Night Volcarona. Night Night Volcarona. The burn chunking up. Same thing as every other turn. And we'll say Night Night to Volcarona. So Yawn puts it to sleep. That's beautiful. Beautiful little thing right there. And... What? What is going on here? Alright, you're getting yawned again. We gotta do this again. We gotta do this again. What is going on here? Do not crit me. You survive. I can't go for any recoil move. Our only way is to protect, put this thing to sleep, finally, after Lumberry, and then just spam Fisher while it's asleep and hope that we can land one. That's really where I'm at. That's really where I'm at. I hate this game, man. I really do, because I can't go for Wave Crash. One, it's not doing enough damage, and two, the recoil damage will just KO me. So we'll do that. We will go into a simple protect here. And then we'll just kind of play, play off of Fisher. So it's our only way of victory. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. We were sitting here in a perfect position. Fisher landed onto the Gargonacle, and now I'm sitting here fighting for my life. Fighting for this victory. All right, Fisher. Don Dozo, I know I asked for a Fisher already, but could you possibly cook up another one? Could you cook up another one? You pretty much got two chances here. But we would like, to, like for it to be done on the first one. So Volker on up. First turn of sleep. Slumped. Go ahead, let's just land it here. Just say night night. Alright. Alright, you're missing Don Dozo. Gotta go for it again here. I think this this could possibly be your last chance. Or they can wake up and just win this game. And the way my the way everything's working right now, I feel like he's just gonna wake up and bug buzz me and say night night. GG's. But we're gonna go for the Fisher. What'd I say? One turn sleep. Come on, give me a chance, game. Just give me a chance. 
just give me a chance. I feel like our opponent had everything perfect to work up against it. The flame body triggered, the perfect move set, everything. Solid first match, but we ended up losing. Every possible thing that could have went wrong in that last match went wrong. Flame body went off. We didn't KO Volcarona. We left it on red. They had morning sun for some reason. Like, who has morning sun? It worked so perfectly. And then a one-turn sleep. Didn't even give us a chance with, like, another Fisher. But it is what it is. I feel like we showcased this team really well. I got to land a Fisher at least. So that made me happy. We're going to go up against a Komo -O team. Just like us. Pretty dope. They have x -Drill. They got Robum. They got Gold to go. Magmar and Primarina. So pretty similar teams, right? Magmar and Electabuzz are pretty much the same. We both have Robum. We both have Golden Go. We both have Komo. -O. Now, um, from here, I could just like Taras or uh, go into Komo -O right off the rip. It's not bad. I could also just go into like Sneasler and fake out, and that is kind of where I'm at. Sneasler, Komo, -O. and just get effort that way. So that is what I'm gonna do. And then late game, I could bring my Dantos. My Dantos is not bad. Um, I definitely want Golden Go. It's either Robum or Dantos over here. Hmm. Real Boom, Grass Guide up. You have high horsepower, I believe you do, right? Dude, I kind of want to go into you. What if I want that dizzy? We're going to go into Real Boom. Real Boom's just solid. It's just solid all around. It really is. It really is. It's going to be super effective onto a few Pokemon. Pre Marina, Magmar with high horsepower. Again, we got a lot of different options here. Same thing with the, like extra weak to ground moves. I can hit it up. I can hit it up. So, again, a few different options here. I like our team. It's time to bounce back, though. I think we should have grabbed ourselves a win in match number one, but now we're sitting here 0 1. Just to name the game. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes we get wins like that. Sometimes they get wins like that. Name the game. But Golden Go is going to come out here alongside with Rillaboom. And I could just fake out the Boom. And I could set up my lovely. I could actually Terrastalize here. And I think I am just going to go straight Fire type. And just go Clanger Soul and set up these stat boosts. Get all the speed going, all that good stuff, and fake out the room at the same time. So we'll see what they want to do here. I still have Focus Ash on the uh, on the Sneasel, which is good. So fake out is just going to be a great option for us. They could end up swapping Robin, but I really don't see it, which is why I just want to fake it out. They could swap Gold and go. But yeah, I'm going to go Fire Terror just so if in case Make It Rain comes out here, or even like Steel Terror Make It Rain, I'm able to survive and actually get some value off of my Clanger Soul. That's really where I'm at. That's really what I want to do here. Plus, I got some. I got fast Pokemon on field. They don't have like a Tailwind user, which is great news. And now comes my Terror type really on here. So no swaps. Lovely, just what we wanted. And Koma, oh, getting after it. Match number two. Did pretty well. Match number one. Again, I should have probably E-Web with Electabuzz instead of following me that one turn. That would have actually set us up for victory easily. But it happens. Fake out's gonna pop right into the Will Boom. Gonna flinch. And Clanger Soul launches. Launches. We love it. So Golden Go without the Terror. Pretty nice for us. It'll probably go for Make It Rain, right? We're a Nasty Plot here. Nasty Plot could be a thing. You could plot up. You could plot up. And plotting up would be terrifying. It would be scary, man. But I'm plus two on Special Attack, which is nice. Make It Rain is going to launch, which is why I wanted to Rasslice. Gonna Focus Ash my Sneasel up. And from here, I think we just honestly protect the Sneasler and get rid of the Robum. Because the first turn priority is really where everything is being thrown off at. So I can just protect, and we know he wants to go for Grass Guide, and we can just go for Flamethrower here. This kind of seems like he's Choice spec as well. This definitely seems like your Choice spec. The damage that you just did to Sneasler seems like your Choice spec. So I protect Sneasler. Out comes the Grass Guy, which is why we protect it. We couldn't deal with that first turn priority. And Komo should be able to dump on this Robum, no problem, right? Just get rid of it. Flamethrower flying. Bye bye Robum. Bye bye Robum. So we get rid of Robum, which is really nice. We're still seeing plus two on attack. We're hoping he's kind of choosing to make it rain here. And yeah, it sure seems like it. So he's minus one. We blocked that. We got speed going right now. And Komo is so accept pretty easily. So if they don't have any first turn priority Pokemon coming out here, kind of sitting in a really good position. Just to get off some more value with these two very hard hitters. So a good protect call on our end. Let's see who they end up bringing out here. Kind of hoping it's just like Magmar. What else do you have? You have Excadrill. Excadrill's not outspeeding us. Um, Primarina doesn't have first turn priority move. Um, but fine. I can't think of their other Pokemon. They have Komo-O. They're going to go into Magmar. Magmar's totally fine with me. 
The Magmar flies out here. No big deal. And I think from here, again, we're just looking to get off as much damage as we possibly can. So I'm just going to go Dire Claw. I'm just going to go Clang and Scales. Let's just send it. I mean, Flamethrower would obviously be not very effective, but there is a hot chance that they just simply go for, uh... That they simply go for, uh, what's it called? Actually, we should probably go into close combat. Let's just do as much damage as we can in this thing. But there's a hot chance that they go for, uh, follow me here. So I'd rather just get rid of the Magmar and then just keep this gold to go at, like, minus three. But no, he's gonna end up hard swapping. So he hard swaps here. And he's gonna go, go in, gonna go in the Como of his own, who honestly might just die out to this shot. He might just die out to this, uh, Clang of Scales. Close combat. Gets a crit, baby. We love that. My defense drops. All that good stuff. And... Double KO here, I think, right? Yep. See you later. See you later. My defense drops, but now they're just sitting here with Golden Go. And I outspeed it. And I could probably just go into a flamethrower. So Como oh, bouncing back here, match number two. This is this battle right here just showcases the power of this Pokemon once you get it set up in a perfect situation. And that's like, and that's exactly what we did. We faked out, then we used protect to block that real boom. And once we got rid of that first turn priority. We were sitting here we're like, okay, now we have all the power in the world, all the speed in the world. Let's just take advantage of it. And that's exactly what we did. It was perfect. It was money. So Golden Go is going to be the last Pokemon. Since he is choice spec, what it looks like, I would assume that its terror type is probably steel. So I can just launch a flamethrower into it, right? I can just launch a flamethrower into it and probably just hard swap Caesar. Or I can just leave Caesar on the field, right? Like hard swapping Caesar doesn't really do anything for us. It just gives him a chance to pick up some free damage. So, I mean, I'm just going to go for a close combat just in case he, uh, he terrestrializes. That's really all we can do. Because Dire Color has no effect. Fake out, we can't use Protect. Just going to Protect and <laughs> close combat. But only work if he terrestrializes. But out comes Golden Go. We'll go for the close combat just in case he wants to terrestrialize. And from here, Flamethrower if you don't terrestrialize. So, should be game. Should be game because we outspeed regardless. Thanks for playing. This is going to be a clean sweep. Match number two. Like I said, we bounced back from the last one, but the first match was definitely a success, considering I landed a Fisher, and that was one of the things that I wanted to do in today's video, so we were able to do that. We were able to do that. Let's see what you got here. Let's see what you got here, Gold Go. I think this person just, like, knows it's over, and he's just letting the clock run out. Like, come on, man. Your boy's recording. Don't, can't, can't you have some sympathy for people recording? Come on, now. We're trying to make some content. You're just, you're just drawing out the battle. Get on out of here. You deserve to lose, I swear. If this person is not choice and he protects, okay, he doesn't. He doesn't even try to slice. That's GG's anyway. Flamethrower's got this damage unlocked. Plus two. Terra boost it. Bye bye. See you later, Golden Go. Thanks for playing. We're sitting one on one. Let's go hop to our third and final match. It is time for our third and final match. Your boy's sitting one on one. Would love to grab ourselves a winning record. Honestly, we should be two and one. Still upset at that first one, but hey, we're going up against Murkrow here with Gothitelle. Gothitelle is a sneaky little Parasong Pokemon. Um, they also have Primarina, they got Mousehold, and then they got Dragonite Rillaboom as their final two. So I could honestly just go into my boy right here, Como O, if I wanted to. I'm trying to think of like Pokemon that can really just like counter it. I mean, they got Murkrow with Tailwind, which could be rather annoying. Um, I could just go into like choice spec golden go right off the rip and just look for some damage i could honestly go into sneezler i think we just go into sneezler and como again with golden go late game and last but not least dantoza or roll boom really working out well here and i'm kind of leaning towards roll boom yeah that's what i'm gonna do that is what i'm gonna do so we're gonna try to use como here again i mean como is pretty much like the star of this team so we might as well use it especially next to sneezler you get off a fake out it's a pretty easy turn to set up the clanger soul and then Sneezler's thriving from there as well. <clears throat> <coughs> so yeah, I, I like this lead here. I think the lead is great. Murkrow, Gothitelle. Um, they can fake me out. I can fake them out. Um, I'm going to actually fake out the Gothitelle right off the rip. And and uh, the bird's going to do whatever the bird wants to do. Probably set up a Tailwind. Could potentially go for a Foul Play, but I think we're fine here. I think you go Tailwind, we go Fake Out. Definitely our play. So Fake Out into Clanger Soul. Let's just get all these stat boosted up right now. I can't swap, which is a slight issue. I still have Terra, all that good stuff, but we're going to fake out the Gothitelle before it fakes us out. Gothitelle's flinching. Murkrow Tailwind. Murkrow learns the Parasong. Okay, I see you. I understand. I understand. I'm sound... Oh, 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 oh. oh my lord. 
I love it. Komo'o, soundproof. I didn't even think of that. I didn't even think of that. Blocks out Parasong. That is monstrous. That is monstrous. That is just huge. Didn't even think of that. Didn't even think of that. So Gothitelle most likely protecting. We kind of just want to like attack this Murkrow, I, I feel like, right? Get rid of this Murkrow. I'm just going to launch a Dire Claw into the slot. So Dire Claw, just protect you. I feel like they want to go into like a Psychic in the slot. They could just protect. I mean, I'm just going to protect Combo. Oh, I, I can see Gothitelle just simply protecting here. Yep, there it is. So Gothitelle sets up a protect. That's totally fine. And Dire Claw is going to launch into the slot. Can we get like a sleep or something? Nothing. You use him fly. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Let's be honest here. Who do you think you are doing all that? What are you, like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Everyone's Parasong counts dropping. I am now going to launch a Dire Claw into this slot. And I am just going to Terrasalize and throw a Clanging Seals. This will lower my defense, which is kind of annoying. But I kind of need to pick up the KO on the Gothitelle, so I'm going to send it. Oh my god, I didn't Terrasalize because I went back and looked at the move. Oh man, that's ugly. Can you outspeed Sneasel and just pick up a KO? Pick up the KO. Let's go. Okay, so that's a big time KO. So good thing. Actually, that works out perfectly because I didn't waste out my Terra. But still, Fly can honestly do some damage here. I'm terrified of this. Look at this. Yeah, it did some damage. So now I can swap my Sneasler. Save it for later. And just get after it with Como. Uh -oh. That's fine. We get rid of the Gotha Tail. So your, 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 your little plan didn't work out there. They could go for E speed, which is looking a little rough, but still, I want to swap the Sneasler so it doesn't die out here. And. Let's go into Golden Go here. The Golden Go is going to come out here. We're just going to protect. I'm sitting in a decent position here, so I could see a Tailwind potentially pop out here. I feel like they want to take out this Como. I feel like that has got to be their play. And Mirko did have Protect. I'm surprised he didn't protect that first turn. I'm super surprised. You're gonna end up protecting as well. So no tail. I don't know if you have tail, but this is a weird move set from you. There's the East Speed, which we block. Um, I could swap in the room, or I could just simply just stay on this field. I do have Dazzling, Gleam, which is actually beautiful. And Parasol is gonna KO Murkrow. <laughs> oh my lord, they forgot to swap out the Murkrow. Bye bye Murkrow. Thanks for playing. So again, they could East Speed me. I think we choice into Dazzling Gleam here. Probably your best bet. They could fake me out. Um. I could just swap, but I, I I feel as we shouldn't. I feel as we should just choice into that as a gleam. I really think that's our play. I could, I, oh, I got Fairy Terror. Let's just send it. This does make us susceptible to, to what's it called? To E speed, but I, I feel like this damage is really nice, especially because if they're going to trash slice anybody, I feel like they want to save it for the Robin for Dire Claw with Steezler. So if I can just land a few dies and gleams, pick up some KOs, should be cooking here. We should be cooking here. So Fairy Terror gonna pop out here. We're looking to do as much damage as we possibly can. And Fake Out's gonna launch into Como. -O. There's that E Speed's gonna double down. No big deal. That's totally fine. We get off a big time Dazzle Gleam. Choice spec Dazzle Gleam and Terra boost it, which is massive. And we'll see if this Dragon Age multi scaled or not. Let's see how much damage we're doing. Yeah, it's definitely multi scaled. It's definitely multi-scaled. So Barry's gonna pop out here from Rillaboom. Um I could see I could see Dragonite definitely terrasalize near. It's definitely multi-scale, so I could just fake it out, right? I feel like that has gotta be my play. Just fake it out. I got two fake out users. But we're just gonna go into Sneasler here. Pose this big time threat. I could just dire call instead of fake out. I really could. I really could just dire call this Rillaboom and just go into a dash and gleam. I think that's more so going to be my play. Actually, we probably should just fake out. Yeah, let's fake out the Dragonite. This thing is they could go for Grassy Glide and E-Speed in my Golden Go now. And that is like, eh, that could KO. That could KO. So fake out was the right call. to make this Dragonite flinch because we know it's multi-scaled due to that damage. And Grassy Glide is going to launch. So it looks like they definitely want to go for E-Speed and, and Grassy Glide. So we faked out the Dragonite. We're going to drop another Dazzle Gleam. And that is game set match. This team was insanely strong. We go 2-1 for today's video. Ladies and gentlemen, we did everything that we wanted to do today. We got a winning record. 
and we landed a Fisher, and we showcased Como oh perfectly. Everything went so perfectly in today's video. Absolutely love this squad. From Dantozo to Como oh to Electabuzz, Rollboom, Sneasel, and Goldigo. We got to use every single Pokemon, and this team really just thrived out. Actually, did we even use Rollboom today? That deserves a round of applause. Not using Rillaboom, we did bring it in the third and final match, but we didn't use it, so I'll take it all day. I'll definitely take it all day. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.